there was another user which uh, posted a comment in uh, one of the Grok extractors or Grok patterns or pipelines video that I have uh, previously done and um, somehow I can understand why it's uh, quite hard to parse this message therefore I have uh, selected it in here and I can show you how you can uh, do it with uh, Grok patterns so we will need to go to system and then Grok patterns and we will create a pattern this is our sample data let's call this one firewall because most probably it's from a firewall log for the first one we can uh, put in something like uh, I don't know device so let's start it word then call in device and let's test it out okay looks good it's okay then coma here information we can put it in like um, info and then we will just do data call in destination maybe let's try to test it out right now okay data destination okay it's legal because we don't have a percentage sign okay and there is actually no problem because we will need to uh, define something afterwards and in this case this is a firewall action and it's a little bit uh, different we will have to create another grok pattern with firewall actions so let me open another web page and in this new tab what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to um, grok patterns and i will create um, some firewall actions i think we have something uh, from uh, before that you can use as a reference for example uh, ah, we can edit this one uh, this uh, Cisco action uh, and we can put in here forward let's edit the this pattern and we will put in here pipe and then forward save it and right now I'm gonna do a Cisco action instead of data and I'm gonna put uh, action and test it out and as you can see it works yeah we have the destination we have the device we have the action which is forward um, and after forward we have a colon uh, this one is um, in colon uh, and LAN this one we can do it with the data and for the field name I'm just gonna go for source interface src intf for source interface then we have a space after that we have out colon and we were going to copy this one and we were going to call it uh, DST for destination
let's see how it works. Yeah, we have the source interface, the destination interface, or we can do it like um, inbound interface and then here outbound interface yeah you can see how the fields are changing so now we have a um, source mac and i'm gonna do just src dash mac and here let's see what um, what kind of um, pattern we already have for MAC addresses. I'm going to search for MAC addresses. Uh, okay, so let's try this one with uh, common MAC. Let's copy it. The, let's try it right here. Let's do source MAC. after that coma let's test it and yeah it works common mac grok pattern which is already defined it works fine then we have the protocol tcp uh, so then we will have the word tcp So let's call this one prot, yeah, protocol, which is TCP. And here we have uh, an acknowledged flag, an acknowledgement TCP flag. So let's do it uh, this way. Let's uh, do a backslash in front of those uh, open brackets. Let's do the following. Let's do let's do again with uh, word, and here I'm just gonna say uh, TCP flag. Coma. Right now we have. Uh, source IP address destination IP address and this port uh, let's see if we have um, something in our previous grok patterns with uh, suricata and I'm looking for source IP address source port and destination destination port which is perfect let me copy and paste these ones and then they they actually don't work okay so something is wrong with uh, the last field that we had or we added yeah so let's get rid of the backslashes see what's going on here right now doesn't really work for some reason let's remove it let's test it again right now it works let's see how we can do the acknowledgement ah, okay so it has a space let me go back let me do a space let's test it right now it doesn't work so we would need to escape the open brackets with backslash yeah, and right now it works perfectly. Then let's do another space. Let's put in the destination. Okay, it doesn't work out. Let's close this space here. Let's delete it. Again, it doesn't work. So, aha, okay. And this is the reason why it doesn't work because we have a space in here and in here and we don't have it in the sample data most probably we have a space after the coma and yeah right now it works perfectly yeah so we have the 
the source, we have the port, the source port, the destination port, the destination IP address. Looks good. After that, we have the NAT translation. So we don't really care about uh, this IP address right here because it's uh, just repeating itself. So we can put it as unwanted and the port and we will just gonna need this IP address over here. And what we can do, we can uh, do it this way. We can copy the previous value. Of course, I will need to escape the open brackets. This one, the source IP, we actually don't need it because it repeats itself. So we can put it to unwanted. And I will do the same for the source port. Then we have the netted IP address. So I can put in... Uh, in here net net IP and then the net port again we don't need it because we are not doing any kind of uh, port translation in here but if you like to keep it yeah you can keep it you can call it um, let's say net port yeah and right now let's try to test it out see if it works so we have the net ip address we have the net port everything is going fine then we will have here the another ip address uh, sorry here which is the destination and the destination port number and i can copy this one actually let's copy the unwanted ones because we don't want it again we don't want to duplicate our data so let's do a backslash dash backslash greater than and right now we have the duplicate destination ip address which which we don't want it and over here we have the length and we can put it in as greedy data and unwanted because i don't really think that you'd actually need the length so I will just put in greedy data unwanted. So everything which is after this comma will not gonna be displayed. Right now let's try to test it. And yeah, everything is fine. So after you finish your Grok pattern, uh, you will need to save it. After you save it, you would need to go to system and then pipelines. And most probably that log is from a pfSense firewall. So I'm gonna go and edit this one. And I'm gonna go and edit this time the Suricata rule. So we already have uh, two lines in here and I'm just gonna call this one let's say firewall one firewall one and then the grok pattern is firewall so let's 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 make sure that we have the correct pattern Okay, this one is not refreshed. I will need to refresh it. 
Okay, and we can see it. We have the correct one. And here we will create the fields. Take this one from here, put it in here. And right now we can save it. And naturally, if uh, the pipeline will uh, match your connected streams, it should be able to parse the logs just fine. And with this one set, I think this is the last video for the Grok patterns, Grok extractors, and pipelines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video if you liked it, hit the, things, uh, hit the thumbs up, and talk to you guys in the next one.